Hello, welcome to this flipped classroom video about addition and subtraction problems. We have been looking at addition and subtraction word problems separately. Now it's time to figure out how to solve a problem when they are all mixed up. Whenever I read a problem, I really pay attention to what's happening. I even close my eyes to visualize the problem. It's kind of like playing a movie in my head. Let's try one. I want you to close your eyes and I will read a story to you. As I'm reading, picture the story in your mind. Ready? One day, I wanted to bake a cake. In my fridge, I had two eggs. I went to the store and bought six eggs. How many eggs do I have now? Okay, open your eyes. In my mind, I pictured something like this. One day, I wanted to bake a cake. In my fridge, I had two eggs. I went to the store and bought six eggs. How many eggs do I have now? Now I have to figure out what the story is asking me to do. Add or subtract. Well, I remember that addition means that I'm putting groups together. Subtraction means I'm taking away or I'm separating groups or sometimes even I'm comparing groups. So think about this story. What do we need to do in this story? What's happening in this story? That's right. We need to put the two groups of eggs together. That means we should add. I was able to figure out that I need to add based on what happened in the story. Next, we need to write a number sentence to solve. So I'll read my story in my fridge. I had two eggs, so I'll start with two. I went to the store and bought six eggs, so I said I needed to add those six eggs. And when I add those together, I can either use my number line, which I've given you, or I can use the picture I've created, and I get a sum of eight, and then don't forget to label your answer, eight eggs. How many eggs do I have now? I have eight eggs. Let's look at another story. Let's practice visualizing again. Remember that means you need to close your eyes and picture the story in your mind just like a movie's playing in your head. Ready? Emma had seven headbands. She gave three away to her friends. How many headbands does she have left? Again, now I have to figure out what the story is asking me to do, if I should add or if I should subtract. Well, let's think. Addition means I'm putting two groups together. Subtraction means I'm taking away, separating, or comparing. What happened in this story? That's right, we were taking away headbands. That tells me that we need to not add, we need to subtract. So now that I know what the story is asking me, and now I figured out that I need to subtract to get our answer, I'm going to write my number sentence. Emma had seven headbands. She gave three away, so that means minus. Subtraction means we use a minus sign. Three, because she gave away three. And again, you could use the picture, you could use a number line, you can use any of the strategies that we've learned for subtraction. 7 minus 3 equals 4. The difference is 4. Again, I need to label it. We're talking about headbands. So, how many headbands does she have left? 4 headbands. Let's try one more story. Again, practice visualizing, so close your eyes and picture the story in your head. 
Tyler has seven toy cars and James has eight toy cars. How many fewer toy cars does Tyler have than James? So in this story, it's telling me about a one boy and another boy, but the question is going to be the part that really helps me figure out what I need to do if I should add or if I should subtract. The question says, how many fewer toy cars does Tyler have than James? This question is asking me to compare the toy cars that Tyler has compared to the toy cars that James has. We learned a couple weeks ago that whenever we compare, we need to subtract. So when I look at the numbers in my story, it says Tyler has seven and James has eight. Now if I know that I'm subtracting, even though seven is the first number, in my story, I'm going to start with 8 for my number sentence because I remember that in subtraction, we always start with the greater number. So if I have 8 minus 7 equals, now for this one, I'm actually going to use a picture. I'm not going to use a number line. I'll use a picture because I find that it's easier to compare when I can look at a picture of it. So I'm going to do seven toy cars for Tyler. And I'm going to count to make sure. Remember, that's really important to double check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So those are Tyler's cars and then I'm going to give 8 for James. Now in another video you'll remember that we have to make sure we line these up when we are comparing them otherwise our answer might be off by a little bit. Whoops! Try that again. There we go. Let's count to make sure. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So there's the 8 toy cars for James. Now, to compare them, I'm going to line up my matches, what they have the same, and I'm going to circle the extra. Now, here I see that James has one extra toy car, but the question said, how many fewer toy cars does Tyler have than James? Well, 8 minus 7 equals 1, but don't forget your label. To label this answer correctly, it would be one fewer toy cars. On your homework paper, it asks if we needed to use addition or subtraction to solve the last problem. Look at this problem that we've just solved. This is the last problem. Did we use addition or subtraction? Write it down. We'll go over this again tomorrow, so I'll see you then. Bye.